Hello, I'm Russell Lowry Hart, and I'm president of Amarillo College, and I'm honored to be able to talk to you about the future of higher education because it's critical to ensuring that our community continues to thrive and grow and meet the needs of a growing number of students that need higher education in a really different way. And one of the reasons we need it is because our community is shifting. When you look at data that organization called Panhandle 2020 has provided, education attainment in our community as a panhandle, as a state and a nation, is going down. And as a result of that decrease in education attainment, our poverty levels are going up. The way to improve our community is to improve the way students access higher education and what higher education provides to them. And so I want to talk to you about uh, the future of higher education and how it's changing and changing in powerful ways. But one of the reasons it's so critical is there are a lot of lists going around about the top 10, the top 100 universities in the world. And while Harvard and MIT and Princeton are important, so few students really have the opportunity to experience those institutions that that's not where the future of higher education lies. Those aren't the institutions that are going to change our community. It's us, places like Amarillo College, that are going to be the heartbeat of our community and our state and our nation because over 50% of our students start in community colleges. Right now, almost 60% of our students nationwide attend a community college. We are the future of higher education, and we have an obligation to adapt to the changes that our community needs. One of those changes is a shift in purpose. We have to move from delivery of information to focus on students learning that information. That means lecturing isn't nearly as important as a student's ability to apply that learning to a real world setting. The future of higher education is going to be acceleration. Our students are looking for a pathway that will move them to their destination quicker and more effectively. So a two-year degree needs to be a one-year degree. A one-year certificate needs to be six months. A six-month certificate should probably be six weeks. We have to accelerate a student's time to degree, and when we do, they might be more apt to complete that degree and be prepared to earn a living wage job. The future of higher education will be contextualization. We can no longer offer information in a classroom and expect students to understand it and apply it. We have to build that contextualization of that information into their experience in and outside the classroom. When students can understand the application of information, that's when they learn it. One of the people that I want you to meet is a student called Today from Liberia. He's been in the United States for nine years, and he will tell you why contextualization is particularly important. School is like really, really important to my uh, family because they didn't get the chance to uh, go to school back in Africa. I mean, they did, but like, there's a certain grade you can reach to, and then you're required to wear a certain, certain uniform. And my parents didn't have enough, my grandparents didn't have enough money to buy for my parents. So the highest grade I ever got to was fourth grade. It would look like a place that uh, is meant for education, but also at the same time is meant to like have fun. Not like to force the subject on the student, but to force on them, but in the same way they're having fun at the same time, interacting with other people. That's my ideal class. So what Dede told you is that he learns more with his friends and in application than he does from a lecture that a professor provides. That also relates to our need as an institution in higher education to integrate our services more effectively. When you look at information that's available, information overload is a really um, important and real concept. What we've not done in higher education is integrate that information in a useful term. Today, whose name is today because when he was born in the Civil War in Liberia, his mother didn't know if he would have a tomorrow. He is the future of our country and, our, and the future of higher education because we need to integrate our services to ensure that we can meet his needs in the classroom, but also his social needs outside the classroom. And that's where you come in as a community.